In this video, I'm going to look at how to create the cells we need to model the headwalls for this culvert. The first thing I need to do is create uh, a new model. I'm going to start with a 3D model um, for the 3D cell. So from my models uh, dialog, I'm going to click create a new model and give this a name by convention. Uh, the 3D model for a head wall. I'm going to start um, with the word head wall so that I can see all of the head walls together in the list. So just giving the, uh, the model a sensible name. So the model type is design and it's a 3D model that we're creating. It can be placed as a cell is checked on. So I'll click OK that to so that. That's the model created. So just make sure that that is the selected model. And we can see the model name here in the title of view one. The next thing I'm going to do is, is place some um, construction class elements um, that Subsurface Utilities uses and looks for to define the orientation and the origin of the cells. So on my attributes toolbar, I've turned on active element class, which means that I can say whether the class is primary or in this case, I want construction. Now I need to place um, several graphics. So the first one is defines the uh, rotation of the cell and that has to be a, a line style three element. So construction class line style three. And for convenience, I'm going to select the same color as the line style. So line style three, I'm going to select color three purely for convenience. So I'm going to place a line and I'm going to use my key ins here to say that the start of the line is going to be at coordinates of 0, 0, 0. So I'll press return and that's the start of the line selected. The length of the line doesn't matter. Um, I'm going to create it three meters long. Now my units are millimeters, so that's 3000. And I can click to place that line. Right mouse click to finish. So that's my three meter long line created. If I just select it, go to element info, just confirm construction class element. It's line style three and it's three meters long. So that's, as I say, used to define the, uh, the rotation of the cell. The next thing I need to do is define the um, origin of the cell. Now, before I do that, I'm just going to go to my view attributes and make sure I have line weights turned on. Now again, I want to align star three element. This time it's going to be a point, but I'm just going to set the line weight so that I can actually see it. I'm going to go to tasks, drawing, place active point, and I'm just going to go and snap to the start of the line. And that's the origin of this 3D cell. I'm going to change my uh, weight one more time and I need to also place a line style 5 element which defines the um, the flow line the, the reference elevation for the um, the 3D cell in other words um, for stormwater pipe the invert level um, that the uh, the head wall will be at relative to that pipe invert level so I'm going to use a, a, this has to be a line style five element. So again, for convenience, I'm going to use a line color five. And again, I'm going to snap that to zero, zero, zero there. I'm going to turn off my ACS triad. I'm just going to do a crossing window, go to element selection. So there's my line style three line. There's my line style three point and my line style five point. Just go to an isometric view and we're ready to build the actual elements of the head wall. So now I can change the construction class to primary, change the, uh, the weight back to zero, the style back to zero. I'm going to pick 
an appropriate colour from my head wall elements. I'm going to go to tasks and I'm going to place a line. In this particular case I've got a um, the apron length is 2440 millimeters so I'm gonna just hover over that origin point and snap and I'm going to define my length here 2440 tab now uh, AccuDraw is running I'm going to just press the space bar and then I'm going to press the T key to rotate um, AccuDraw into a top view so I've got the length locked and I'll lock the angle of zero as well and click to place that just select that line check it in element information so it's primary class 2440 long place another line now at the back of my um, apron where the vertical face of the head wall will be I'm going to press F11 to wake up AccuDraw and then I'm hovering over that origin point I'm pressing the O key on my keypad to say that that's the origin of my uh, of the um, of the line that I'm going to create now in this particular case the back of the apron is um, a width of uh, 1548 now I need to be half of that so I've typed in 1548 divide by 2 press return so 744 so I'll click to accept that so that's one side defined and notice if I orient the uh, if I get the cursor in the right place the AccuDraw line becomes heavy so I can see that I'm snapped to that um, correct angle and I want a length here of 1548 so we'll place that so that's that line created the front of the apron I'm going to do a similar thing so again I'm going to hover over that start point F11 to wake up AccuDraw O to set the origin and in this particular case the wind the front of the apron is 3988 divided by 2 click and 3988 click and right click to accept so now that I've got those lines in place I can go to solids modeling I can say that I want to place a shape and I can just use my snaps now to pick those two ends of that line those two ends of that line and then I can use close element to create that so now I've got that shape I've got three lines that I no longer need so I can select and delete that one right mouse click select and delete that one and finally the third line now I'm going to give the uh, the apron um, a depth so I'm going to use the solid by extrusion tool so I'm going to click that I'm going to click my um, slab there and I'm going to type in 150 to set the depth and then left click to accept that let's build up the uh, the wing walls for our head wall now I'm going to use the slab solid tool I'm going to place a start point there place an end point in this particular case my wing walls are 150 mil wide so I'll type that in and the height in this particular case is 911 above the top of the slab so I'm just going to move the cursor in the right direction and type in 911 plus 150 for the slab 1061 press return to accept that and then left click to locate that point do the same on the other side so there's the length just pressing um, T there to make sure AccuDraw is in the top view just 
do that again so place slab solid there's the length 150 and then the height 9 11 plus 150 return and click to accept that so let's just go uh, to a front view there and a right view just checking that everything's at the right height so now those two wing walls are in I can uh, place the 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 piece at the back of the head wall here so we'll use the slab solid tool again just window in there make sure I'm getting the right point in this particular case the width is 230 so type that in left click to accept and then the height I can just snap to the top of the uh, one of the wing walls there the next thing I'll do I'm just going to use alt and the mouse wheel to get into 3d rotate is fill in this piece here which is quite a complicated shape in actual fact it's not a rectangle in plan and you've got these two different slopes at the top here so I'm going to place a shape in the corner and then extrude it now before I do that I'm just going to I'm going to create a line that I can use to um, define this corner in here so I'm going to place the line, I'm going to select the, um, the corner here because AccuDraw is activated when I get the right angle here the line will be bold and I can just click to place that I'm going to place one more again I'm going to go over here and click now I need to rotate the AccuDraw compass and I need to rotate it to that element there so the shortcut for that is RE that's rotated to the element there and I can click and then this particular line I want to drag out in this direction just so that it intersects the line I've just created now I can use place shape and I want to start at the intersection of those two lines to zoom in and now I can just pick the points and then use close element so that's that shape created. I can use a crossing window to select those two lines and delete them. Now I can do a solid by extrusion, pick that shape and snap its height to the top of the back wall there. Same again on the other side. So uh, place a line um, using the T to get AccuDraw into top mode place the other end there again place a line there I'm using RE on the keypad rotate to element I can pick the line which sets the rotation of AccuDraw and pick a second point there place shape starting at that intersection and then using the snaps to work my way around the shape close it select those two lines and delete them then extrude that shape up to the top there now the wing walls aren't actually rectangular like this they slope down to 300mm above the base slab so I'm going to create a shape to represent that again I'm using AccuDraw in the O key so the base slab's 150 thick, so 300 plus 150 is 450. Close the shape. And we extrude that shape outwards like that. Then we can use a boolean subtract. So from the wing wall, subtract that shape. we can see that that end wall has been trimmed down now let's do the one on the other side so place a shape going from there to there to that origin and up 450 
close, extrude, and then a subtraction, like that. I rotate around again because this head was actually got a, an extra thickness of concrete underneath. It's going to change the uh, the render style. Now this piece of concrete is 300 mil wide, but there's a 75 mil chamfer, so I'll create it 375. And 75 mil high. Now it needs to extend all the way out to this edge, so I'm just going to place a line. Use T to get into top view, just so I've got an intersection point there. So I can do place shape, and I can go intersect there, close, extrude that, 575. Mirror, make copy about the midpoint there. Now I can do a boolean to add these three bits together. To, so there's those two. Do a control to pick the third. Add them together. I've now got one piece. And I can use the chamfer edges. Seventy-five mil for that face there so we can see now how that piece of extra concrete is created and I can finish up by removing that line so we can use our boolean unite again now that we've got all of those pieces holding down the control key to select the third and subsequent pieces so that's now one solid go to element information change the material give it a concrete material so that it looks more realistic Final thing we need to do on this uh, cell is place some connection regions and they define where pipes are allowed to connect into the uh, back face of the head wall here. Now these are also construction class elements. They have to be line style six. So I want to use number six for the color just as a convention so that I can easily recognize them. So I want to use a shape element and again I'm going to use AccuDraw to locate it so F11 to wake up AccuDraw, O to set the origin there I want to be on the front there Now this particular um, pipe is the outside diameter is 699 so I want to be half of that in from the edge so 350 now the opposite corner i need to make the um this shape a nominal width so i'll go use that top as the origin and maybe go 351 just to make it a tiny rectangle we zoom in we can see that there now i need two of these because it's a double barreled head wall so I'm going to mirror it about the uh, midpoint there like that 
So it's those two shapes now, so I can connect the centre of a culvert pipe to each one of those two shapes. Now for this particular uh, head wall, there's a, um, a cut off wall on the outlet head wall only. So what I'm going to do is make a copy of this head wall. Change the name. So from inlet to outlet. Okay, that. I just confirm there the model names shows the uh, that I've got the correct model open. Okay, let's rotate this around actually a bit more. Maybe something like that. So set my symbology. I'm going to start by placing a smart line along the front edge there. And then I'm going to use the, the Move Parallel tool. I'll make a copy. Fifty. Now I can create a shape. which I can then extrude down. Three hundred mil in this case. Change the display style and make it easier to see what's in front of what. So there's a, a fillet of concrete that right should run round here. So I'm going to create a shape again for that. Starting there. I'm going to make sure my uh, civil acutral is rotated correctly, so I'm going to use rotate to element. So it's 75mm in that direction. And 80mm in that direction. And I can Close that shape. Looks okay. I'm going to use the extrusion along. I need to select the path, which is that line string. Select the face. Looks okay. Click. So there's my uh, fillet along the uh, edge of the cutoff wall there. Again, I can 
join these pieces up and control there select the head wall and set the uh, material and that's the outlet head wall completed so that's the uh, the two 3d cells created for the inlet and the and the outlet what I need to do now is create a cell for the plan just going to click on that text so that I can copy it and create a new model this time around I want a 2d C a 2d model I'm going to use the same cell for the inlet and the outlet. We'll change the name to say plan. Okay, that. So we're in a 2D model this time round. Now again, I'll need to, cre to create some construction class elements. So a line style 3 line for the rotation and again I'm going to start it at an XY of 0 comma 0 and we'll make it maybe 3 meters long again increase the line weight and place a point so construction class line style 3 point and then in a plan cell there is a line style 4 point which is used um, as the position, the XY position when you actually place the, uh, um, the node so we'll place a point at that same location again I think the quickest way to create the um, the plan graphics is actually to reference in the 3D cell. So I'm just going to go and select that cell library. And select the cell. Set my symbology and maybe use a place a smart line to trace round the outside. We'll just turn off the display of the reference just to check the uh, those graphics. Yep, they look good. So I'm going to delete that reference. And that's the plan cell created.